cops are here, so uh, they'll get it sorted out. Hey everyone, so I was planning on vlogging my drive from Atlanta to California and maybe do some PP stuff along the way, uh, but leaving Atlanta was a huge pain. Uh, both my cats have never been in a car for like more than 15 minutes at a time, so it was not a great time. Uh, Cheggy was pretty much under my seat the entire ride. She didn't poop, pee, eat, or drink anything for like almost 12 plus hours. Uh, I'm in Dallas at the moment in my hotel, which just exploring now. And Cranberry was howling like a banshee until uh, I let her out of her carrier. So she was kind of just rolling around next to me. Um, but uh, yeah, we made it. Um, I am off to grab some food with Arrow in a second. Um, but uh, yeah, made the first leg of my journey. And uh, we're going to do some uh, mega... PvP stuff later because it is Go Bow Day too. Alright, if y'all don't know who this is. I mean, how, how would you not know? Up, up, and, up and coming YouTuber, he's got some YouTube plans. <laughs> Dude, funniest thing that just happened. You order some Dr. Pepper to go, right? And they bring in a small sippy cup. <laughs> Dude, that's actually hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna do some. Alone and sand shoe swaps for Errol to get a hundo. Hopefully. If I've only done about 500 of these tricks. If he doesn't tweet about it, then it definitely failed. <laughs> so, I uh, just made it back uh, from dinner with Errol, and we didn't end up trading anything just because um, he didn't have service. So, he doesn't have a lucky 100% sand shoe yet. It is currently 11.43, which means Go Bow Day is pretty much over. I was on the road for like almost all of it, slash just moving around. So, I haven't done a single bit of Go Battle Day, but I was hoping to try my Mega Gyarados just because why not? It's my favorite Pokemon. I have 17 minutes. Let's just see what happens. Uh, I'm not really making a video beyond this using the team because it's not going to help anyone at this point. I already started powering up, so I guess it's too late, but this is my only Hundo Melmetal, and so I cannot use it in Master League Premiere anymore. So anyway, we'll just have to open some more Meltan boxes, I guess. Let's just do it for the content, see what happens. Also, can we talk about how I got a king size bed. And it's already starting to look like a twin size with these two. <laughs> these two on it. Y'all slept all day. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's fine. I'll sacrifice for them. All right. We are at the beginning of day two. The cats are out of the bag, figuratively speaking, speaking, I should know, literally speaking, but um, I think Cheggs is, might just hang in here for a while, I don't know. I found out late last night that all my Master League battles I did, I did it, it didn't record on my phone, I think my phone was out of storage unfortunately, and I realized it a little too late. I powered up my only Hundo Melmetal to level 50 for no reason. <laughs> Not even for content reasons. Got a nine hour drive to El Paso, Texas, so I'll probably see you all there. Well, interesting turn of events. We're not in El Paso yet, we're five hours away. I was driving on the highway and a truck that was pulling like, kind of like a boat wagon or something, the tire on the back of the boat wagon popped off, flew back, <laughs> hit my car, the top right area and my right top right bump, uh, tire burst and the bumpers hanging off. So we're on the middle roadside with uh, with Cranberry who doesn't seem to care at all and Cram Cheggy's hiding somewhere underneath my chair. Cops are here so uh, they'll get it sorted out. But slight bump in the road as if I could do say so myself. Uh, we're towing company's going to be here in about 40 minutes to tow my car. <laughs> probably get me temporarily fixed up so I can make the rest of the drive um, but yeah everyone's safe everyone's fine the guys where the wheel came off they're really nice they came by and gave me a cold bottle of water which was cool um, 
I assume there's probably no liability on my end. I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid a flying tire coming at me. This is my parents' biggest fear. <laughs> so they're calling me nonstop, but uh, it should be okay. So hopefully by my next update, I'm actually in El Paso, Texas. All right, I'm pretty sure this is turning into just a real life vlog instead of a pogo vlog, <laughs> but uh, I am currently with the cats here and we are in Stanton, Texas, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Um, but my car got taken away. It's Memorial Day, so I actually can't rent a car. I pretty much can't drive my car at this point because the actual wheel is damaged, so they had to replace that. But we'll have a new car and we'll just make a longer trip to Phoenix so I'm still on time rather than a shorter trip from El Paso. All right, so for a little update, uh, I will be getting a rental car in a little bit, and then we're just gonna make a long 11 to 12 hour drive over to Phoenix. So um, in the meantime, I'm gonna just finish up this rocket stop, and then uh, I'm gonna finish my last Go Battle League battle of the interlude season. Something I did notice too, and this is very unfortunate, but I had a cliff rocket balloon this morning, and I finished the balloon, and then I got the Cubone, the Shadow Cubone. It wasn't even weather boosted, so I was really excited because it's gonna be the last one. I have terrible uh, spreads for all my other ones I've done. And I decided not to catch it. I just left it on the screen because I was getting phone calls with like uh, the rental car company and the insurance and everything. And when I went back to it, I think I went back to it like two hours later, I was just like blanked on like the fact that I had to catch this Cubone. On my screen, it was a regular Cubone. It wasn't even Shadow. And it was like not even the same level. It was like 700 CP something, right? And it wasn't weather boost either. I was like, huh, maybe I did catch the shadow Cubone at one point and I just forgot about it. So I go and catch it and I check my inventory, no shadow Cubone. And so the shadow Cubone I had just staying on my screen turned into a regular Cubone after like an hour or two. Now I get that most people will never be in this kind of situation. So it's probably not a concern, but if you are ever in that situation, uh, I recommend just catching the shadow as soon as possible. So unfortunately, it took my rocket radar and I still got the 12 kilometer egg for it, but uh, no final shadow cubone, so I'm just kind of all my bad ones. Let's just run the uh, Araquanid team that I made a recent YouTube video about. All right, we got a battle. Sitting in queue for a hot second, but um, you know, I figured this trainer probably wants to finish out their battles too. I'm, I'm not surprised a lot of people don't. Great lead, if I do say so myself. Um, this is a really good situation. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's possible it's a sludge wave. From Shadow Swamper, it won't take us out, but it's gonna be a good chunk of damage. So I'm gonna shield. That's just being a hydro cannon, that's fine. All right. Um, I probably shouldn't have done this. This is actually kind of bad because the problem is I should have thrown the bug buzz. So that's kind of my mistake here. This is not good, actually. I'm misplaying this quite a bit. Um, there's also a good chance they don't even have Sludge Wave. So, yeah. So I really just should have thrown the energy on the... Oh, they let it go. Okay. All right, now we're in an okay spot. Um, Let's see here. It's Shadow Swamper with a Sableye Safe Swap. I'm about like a 95% chance that this thing is running a um, Skarmory in the back, if I were to guess. So that's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, that's going to be very interesting. Um, let's just debuff this thing. Um, I don't get another move off here anyway. They could farm me down with Swamper, but just in case they decide to shield this. And they don't, okay. Are right, they coming Swamper to farm down? That's fine. Uh, this is unfortunate. Oh, they throw. That's perfect. All right. I'm trying to snipe them down with the bug buzz. Uh, there's a chance that a Skarmory catches it. Not the Underworld, but uh, it would be nice if we get it down. Oh, here comes Araquanid. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, that's not terrible, but it's not great. I probably prefer Skarmory. Uh, our timers are desynced here, unfortunately. So I'm gonna actually have to tank a Hydro Cannon here. Um, my play here is to take out their Araquanid with my Araquanid. So I am, oh, oh, that's interesting. That's really odd. 
Why would they let that go? They have two shields. Oh, huh, that's really odd. Okay. Um, I think we're fine here. Yeah, we're just going to throw this, force them to throw the energy. I think I'll probably just bug bite down. Can a Shadow Swamper really take out my Raquinid with two shields? I don't know. I guess it depends if they have, um... If they actually have, a uh, Sludge Wave or not. Oh, they throw, too. Okay. I just gotta go straight bubble beam here. <laughs> Alright. This has turned out to be an interesting game. One, two... Oh, no. Okay, yeah. I think we win this? I don't know. Maybe, no, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, no, they do have such wave. Oh, that's actually very unfortunate. Um, I think we win this. We either bug bite down before they get the sludge wave off, or um, they hydro cannon and I, I live it. This should be... I think they're one off. This should be Hydro Cannon. This might be it. Uh, this is a little unfortunate. Yeah, oh, it's Hydro Cannon. Perfect. And we good. All right. Finish out the last battle of the interlude season. You know, funny enough, I think I might have done more battles in this season than I did in the previous rank season. All right. We did a total of 100. <laughs> yeah, we did more battles, actually, this season than last season. That's kind of crazy. It wasn't a ton of battles, to be fair, but... All right, um, hopefully next time you see me, I'll be in Phoenix. All right, we are in the rental. I've been driving for a little bit, actually. Oh, here's Cranberry. Uh, we're stopped at a McDonald's here. I need to get some gas and I got some food. Uh, been, I don't know when the last time I had McDonald's was. It's been years, but you know what? I, got, I don't got the time. I got to go for the little cheat meal. I got, even got a... Uh, a sprite with a straw which my friend Nightwing is probably going to uh, be mad at me for because I'm very against straws and he loves straws and here I am being a little hypocrite but you know what it's been a long day so anyway um, here's Cranberry and Cheggy's back there inside one of the carriers there um, but it's been okay uh, they hooked me up with a pretty flashy uh, Dodge Challenger but it was the only thing they had left. It was either that or I had to wait till Friday. They initially told me I had to own, I had to wait till Friday. So uh, my heart was about to drop. I was like, dude, I don't got time to stay in the middle of nowhere, Texas. Um, but they were able to make something work for me. So yeah, we're on our way to Phoenix and uh, it'll be pretty late, but you know what? Just glad to be able to get back on the road here. All right, we have finally arrived. I'm really fading out right now. It is almost two o'clock in the morning, which isn't too bad if you think about it. But um, adjusting our time zone difference is pretty much five a.m. my time, <laughs> my usual time. So I'm a little pooped. And um, yo, not gonna lie, these cats were great early on for the first like six hours of this twelve-hour drive. The second six hours. That's a whole different story. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, just chill on my dashboard. And she didn't hop up on this when I parked. She's been on this for a while. Uh, I, I don't even have to enter go into details here. I'll, I'll cover on my podcast, my Sinister Agless podcast next week if anyone's interested. But um, let's just say there's many reasons why you should drive during the day for long trips with cats. And one thing I neglected to realize is that cats are nocturnal. So... They did not sleep a second in the evening, and they were just climbing all over the place. I just checked into my hotel room. This place is kind of wild. I booked it online ahead of time, but I didn't really realize how nice it is. I think it's like an old like arts place. There's a bunch of paintings everywhere. This is the inside place. This is all right. You gotta check this out. This is like my sink, right? But if you go into the bathroom here. It connects to the other side of the shower area. And you know, I caught checks in the middle of that sink. So it's kind of wild. Yeah. And um, it's, uh, they got like a little work desk here. I kind of want to just stay here and just make some YouTube videos or something, you know? And um, nice, uh, I can't tell, king or queen. It's either way, it's enough. And then I think they have. 
quite a view here too. Let's see. Yeah. Yo, Phoenix is kind of cool. I wish I was here for more than just like a few hours, but, and then you got kind of like downtown Phoenix here. Um, yeah, I don't know, kind of wild. I would honestly live in this room. Like I wouldn't actually, my new apartment's gonna be way smaller than this, unfortunately. But if it were, I would totally like rent out a room like this. The only thing that could possibly make this even better is looking at the spawns for Pokemon. So I'm opening up my app right now. And uh, I really have a good feeling about this. Yeah, that's kind of wild. You have access to like three, four Pokestops roughly. Some decent spawns. I mean, look at this. I can get some drift too. I could be hatching some eggs. Anyway, I should probably get some rest, but yeah, if you haven't, don't know about this place, it's called a foundry. Uh, I would recommend. All right, we have finally arrived. I've been here for about like two hours or so, but I am moved into my little apartment here. Uh, I won't do a big tour because there's not too much stuff going on right now, but as you can see, Cranberry's still drinking some water. Different place, same cat. And uh, Cheggy's right over there too. So I'm missing a bunch of furniture, obviously, and my streaming equipment. Uh, but I'm about to go and grab some stuff from Ikea and Costco and stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, I like the spots. Uh, I do have a home stop as well, so that's kind of nice. Uh, just one home stop, no home gym, but maybe we can change that in the near future. Uh, but yeah, overall, big fan. Glad we finally made it to the West Coast. All right, this is a few days after I already moved in, but I forgot to record this portion, so... I went to do some GOAT Battle League on day one of GBL Season 11 and I completely forgot to drop a star piece. So here's footage of me claiming my rewards realizing that I messed up and it's big karma moment because I was making fun of my friend Noah uh, for not doing it ever and here I am. And yes, I'm recording in the bathroom right now because for some reason, both my cats like to just hang out on the bath rug, so you guys see a little cat action too. All right, I am not filming myself here because my setup's not done yet, so you can see a picture of Cranberry, but these are some of my battles from my Great League Remix team uh, for the start of the season, so figured if you made it this far in the video or you skipped ahead, you get to take a look at what I've been using. Um, but yeah, it is a Regis, uh, it's a Tropius with a Regis Seal and a Shadow Machamp. And uh, Tropius should be much more easily available now after GoFest, so a lot of people probably have them. Um, but it is very strong, I think, in this meta. I didn't see a ton of people using it. Um, but even against bad leads like Regis Seal, you still have some play. Um, Regis Seal is a safe swap, really strong, able to force a lot of shields here. Um, this whole team is very, very weak to fire and a uh, little Marowak as well. Um, but we do see some of that later, and we'll take a look here. All right. Um, so yeah, able to catch the move there. It doesn't really matter uh, because it's going to be aerials either way. Um, but we are able to do some chip damage here on the Mandibuzz um, and uh, put it close to um, uh, cross shop range. Uh, so they are going to come in, burn all their energy on this Registeel. So because of that, I am actually going to farm up to a good chunk of energy and now throw my cross shop. Uh, I live a Aerialize here either way, but I'm going to shield to be safe and take out the mana buzz. Uh, overall, this team has done pretty well for me. I think I have over a 75% win rate. Um, but yeah, it's been very, very strong in my opinion. Um, even, uh, yeah, against really bad leads too. All right, Fair Thorn here. Uh, I am going to stay in there. I have two strong checks to Fair Thorn, especially if it doesn't really matter if they're running Thunder or Flash Cannon. Uh, Tropius still does pretty well. There's a chance they're running Mirror Shot, which is even better for the Tropius. Um, so that is something that's quite nice. Um, and they do come in with this Mana Buzz, and it is Snarl, so it's going to start adding up against my Regiseal, but I feel like I'm still in a pretty good spot because both of my Pokemon in the back can beat the Ferrothorn. So we're not too worried here. They are gonna come in with this. And now here comes a little Marowak. So like I said, 
Lone Marowak, very, very strong against team. It has the potential to be all three. Your best check to this is actually Tropius because that Air Slash and the Air Oasis start adding up. And most do not bait with Bone Clubs here with the Lone Marowak because it's such a positive matchup for them. But because of that, it makes it much easier for you to shield. And uh, I enforce a shield again here. I really want to put this Lone Marowak low enough so that uh, I could potentially counter it down and my opponent does not shield. But that's fine. We got some extra energy here. Here comes the mana buzz, and now I need a slight energy leak because I am worried a little bit about two power whips here or even a mirror shot. But I do get to this cross shop in time to take out the fair thorn. Um, this is a pretty good match, if I do recall. Uh, there's a lot of catches here, so just keep that in mind. All right, so hoping to catch an aerial ace here, and we do, which is perfect. And then my opponent now is staying in for quite a while, and they actually catch a zap cannon. So props to them too for catching a big move back. Um, they are debuffed though, so these mud shots are doing a little less damage. But either way, it needs an earthquake to take me out, so uh, it wasn't. It's not really gonna make a huge difference. And I do have to kind of shield these earthquakes. So my plan here is at this point, um, I am going to just uh, double shield and hopefully catch an earthquake on my Tropius or swap over there. Uh, I have a feeling that I might need this Registeel for later. And I go for the catch on the Earthquake. And do we catch an Earthquake? And <laughs> we do. Three big catches. Uh, my first catch was not nearly as impressive for the Aeroids, but the Zap Cannon and the Earthquake catches uh, definitely really solid uh, for uh, this game. Alright, so they come back in. Um, or they come in with a Registeel. Uh, so I guess my own Registeel is not nearly as uh, crucial here. Uh, because Machamp honestly could do pretty well here. Uh, but I'm gonna come in and start countering down and now I'm in a very good spot. Um, I am anticipating an air release here. I'm anticipating actually a swap here. So I'm waiting, waiting, and here comes the Quagsire. Now we've been catching each other's moves all day, so I didn't want to go for it one more time. And now we do get the rock side off on the mana buzz. Mana buzz is very bulky though. Uh, and we end up CMPing here. And now uh, I come in with the Tropius to finish it off. So quite the game if i do say my do say so myself really well played by my opponent as well all right um now we have a uh wiki tough here um which is kind of an okay lead um well i'd like to just put it so that's in like cross shop range so i could potentially take out with my champ later because uh, really you want the registry on it but obviously once i switch i lose switch advantage um but i just want to draw anything that the trophies might be good for and this is really good for me because this hawk's work definitely beats my Machamp as well, so I want to see it here. <clears throat> and here comes my Tropius. I'm going to throw the Aeroids right away, and they do shield actually, so kind of interesting. Um, and now they come in with their Registeel. Um, so I come in with my Machamp. I'm just going to take this out as fast as possible. They do get off a move here, and I'm going to just let it go. I know that these lockouts won't do too much damage, and I do need as much energy as possible. So I am just getting ready, and they come in with the Toxicro first. I am going to shield. Ends up being just a Mud Bomb, unfortunately, so I did lose track of counting there. And we dropped the Leap Blade to finish off the Wooly Top. So that's what I've been using, and let's get back to the rest of the vlog. We are in Santa Monica with London. What's up, Caleb? I was going to end my vlog earlier when I was traveling, but I figured I'd fil film a little GoFest here, too. Yeah, because look at all these people. GoFest at Santa Monica Pier, that's like the dream. Man. It's like I was selling London this. It's like I was jealous when people used to do this back in 2016. And now look at you. Here, here we are. Here, here we are. are. Yeah, yeah, look at all these people. I'm about to hatch up. Hatch show's right here. Eggs. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, and I was late too. <laughs> but anyway. It's a great time, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more shinies. Hopefully I will get yeah, shinies, because yeah. Caleb has been getting all the shinies, and I'm not too happy about that. <laughs> you got you got a Chimchar, right? A Chimchar, yes. Yeah, just I've been waiting my whole Poké life for a Chimchar. <laughs> a chimchar. I'm excited. <laughs> I figured I'd show some footage from GoFest, since uh, playing at Santa Monica Beach seems to be uh, the dream spot and I finally get to do it in person which is awesome so big shout out to London and everyone else I met over the weekend who uh, grinded with us and yeah it was a good time thanks for tuning into this vlog and joining in on my journey from Georgia all the way to California um, but anyway, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and share, subscribe for future content, hit that notification bell to get alerted right when I post a new video, and we shall catch you all next time. Bye.